Hello students, welcome back to Geography class of 6th standard. We were doing chapter number 1st, representation of geographical features of the earth. In first two videos, the topics we have discussed till now, the globe, limitation of the globe, introduction of map, types of maps, in which we have done physical maps, political maps and thematic maps. Then, significance of maps, components of maps. In components of maps, we have already discussed first two components of maps, that is title and scale. And today we will discuss next two components of maps, which are direction and conventional symbols. In direction, we will discuss cardinal direction and intermediate direction. Then, conventional symbols, in which we will discuss some important conventional symbols. But before we start with this topic, here we have some cross questions related with the last video. Number 1. What is the significance of maps? Number 2. What do you mean by atlas? Number 3. What is cartography? Number 4. Who was Gerardus Mercator? Number 5. Who is called a cartographer? And number 6. What are the four main components of map? Number 7. What do you mean by title of map? Number 8. What is scale? Number 9. How many types of scales are there? Number 10. What is statement scale? Number 11. What is linear scale? Number 12. What is RF scale? And number 13. Difference between small scale map and large scale map. Now students, next we will discuss important terms related with this topic. Number 1. Direction means a course along which someone or something moves. Number 2. Cardinal direction means the four main directions that is north, east, south and west. Number 3. Intermediate direction means the directions between two cardinal points are called intermediate directions that is northeast, southeast etc. And last, number 4 is conventional symbols means symbols that represent various features of the earth's surface on the map. Now students, open your page number 14 of your book. But before we start with the reading, first we should know what is direction and what is the importance of direction on a map. So what is direction? Direction means a course along which someone or something moves. And the importance of direction is, direction helps us to find the way. It tells us where the place is. It also helps us to read a map by helping to trace the path from one place to another. I hope it is clear to you all. Now, let's start reading. Direction Have you ever noticed an arrow with alphabet N? Marked on the right-hand side corner of a map, it shows north direction on map. Most of the maps show direction with the help of an arrow with N written on it. Now students, look at the map of India. You can see an arrow is drawn and marked N. This indicates the north direction. At the bottom of the north is south. To the right is east and to the left is west. It means after knowing the north direction, we can find other directions easily. Next, in some maps you may also find a compass showing direction. It means in some maps compass is used to show directions. Students, look at the word map. You may find a compass on the left side corner of a map. 
This compass indicates directions on a map. Now we will read next paragraph. Direction is actually a course along which someone or something moves. Students, mark this line. This is the definition of direction. Next, a compass is a device with a magnetic needle which tells us about the directions. Students, here the question rises. What is a compass? Students, see the picture of compass which is given in your book. It is a device which is used for finding directions. Next, broadly directions are of two types. Here the question rises. How many types of directions are there? And the answer is, there are two types of directions. Number one, cardinal direction. And number two, intermediate direction. Now students, come on page number 15. First type of direction is cardinal direction. Here cardinal direction means the four main directions which are north, east, south and west. Now let's start reading. North, south, east and west are the cardinal directions. These are also called the four cardinal points of the compass. Students, this is the other name of cardinal directions. Next type of direction is intermediate direction. Directions that lies between two cardinal points are called intermediate directions. Students, mark this line. This is the definition of intermediate directions. For example, northeast, southeast, northwest and southwest are the intermediate directions. Next, all these directions tell us which way to go. They enable us to find out the places. Students, here enable means to make able. In simple words, we can say these directions are very helpful in locating any place more accurately. Students, this is the example of intermediate direction. Directions that lies between two cardinal direction. Now next we will discuss last component of maps that is conventional symbols. In this paragraph we will read about conventional symbols. The various symbols are used to show features of the earth on a map are called conventional symbols. They are important because these symbols used to depict features like cities, roads, railways, water bodies, etc. In simple words, we can say a map is useless tool without symbols. Now, let's start reading. Conventional symbols are universally accepted. Means, these symbols are same in every country. Even, we can read easily those maps which are in foreign language with the help of these symbols. Next, symbols that we use on map to represent various features of the earth's surface. Students, mark this line. This is the definition of conventional symbol. Next, these symbols provide a plenty of information in unlimited space. Students, this is the importance of conventional symbols. And here plenty means sufficient. They make a map very simple and understandable. Students, here you can add one more point that these symbols make the map neat and clean. Now, come on next paragraph. Conventional symbols are also called map legend because they tell the story of a map. Like legend, they are also called a map key. Students, 
द अदर नेम ऑफ लेजेंड इज मैप की नेक्स्ट एज दे अनलॉक द मीनिंग ऑफ वेरियस सिम्बल्स इट मीन्स मैप यूज सिम्बल्स और कलर्स टू रिप्रजेंट द थिंग्स and the legends or map ki explain what they mean for example a triangular shape of symbol on a map is used to indicate a mountain or black dot symbol on a map is used to indicate a capital of any state i hope it is clear to you all next we will discuss some important conventional symbols there are three types of conventional symbols number 1 line symbols number 2 point symbols and number 3 area symbols students first we will discuss line symbols line symbols refer road railways boundaries etc here we have example of line symbols Number one, road. There are two types of road. Number one, metal road. Number two, unmetal road. Metal road means pakka road, and this road depicts with two red lines. Number two, unmetal road. Unmetal road means kacha road, and it depicts with two broken red lines. Number second, railway. railway lines depict with black color number 3 boundaries here boundaries divided into three parts number 1 international boundary with its symbol number 2 state boundary with its symbol and number 3 district boundary with its symbol on a map we show these boundaries with black color next we have point symbols point symbols refer tanks buildings etc first tanks tanks we can show with two symbols square shape and round shape with blue color second buildings for buildings we use this kind of symbol with black color and last we have area symbols area symbols refer settlements cultivations etc first we have settlements settlements means where the people live settlement is divided into two parts permanent settlement and temporary settlement permanent settlement means people build their house to live permanently and temporary settlement means people live for few days like tents and kacha house red square refers to permanent settlement and hollow red square refers to temporary settlement second we have cultivation for cultivation we use this symbol with green color students there are some other conventional symbols which i will discuss in my next video now your homework for today is watch this video plus revise terms and do exercise second on page number 19 on your copy thank you